everybody welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com this is lesson 9 recording audio in this lesson we will learn a little bit more about audio before we make our first audio recording we will talk about audio storage requirements and disk space window as well we will create a click track and talk about options about the click preparing for recording and finally record our audio into Pro Tools, so that's exciting. We will also learn about clips, how we can view them in ClipList, how we rename and delete them. We also will talk about a destructive versus non-destructive recording and some looping and punching options. Let's go over audio storage requirements. Pro Tools records all audio using sample rates ranging from 44.1 kHz to 192 kHz with bit depths of 16, 24, or 32-bit floating point. At a sample rate of 44.1 kHz, each track consumes approximately 5 megabytes of disk space per minute for 16-bit audio, 7.5 megabyte per minute for 24-bit audio, and 10 megabyte per minute for 32-bit floating point audio. By increasing the bit depth and sample rates, hard disk space consumption increases correspondingly. Therefore, recording on sample rate of 88.2 kHz will consume twice as much space than 44.1 kHz. Let's go and view certain things on disk space window. We go under window all the way down here, we got the disk space window. You can always monitor storage space and estimate the amount of available record time remaining for your project using the disk space window. I think I brought that before. Every external drive, even flash drives that you connect to your computer will show on the disk usage uh, window we have here. And it will tell us the name of the disk, the size, availability on the disks with the percentage and we can also see how many minutes of recording that we could do it. So this is what it selected for my session as 44.1 kHz and 16-bit track. If you set your uh, session differently, then you will have a different amount of minutes that you could record. As I just mentioned, if you were to have a 24-bit uh, and uh, higher let's say just higher sample rates and higher bit depth, of course this number is going to go a little bit down, you will be using more space. But that's where we can actually check uh, before session. This can be very handful if you have some limited space on your external drive and so forth, so definitely keep in mind.